Welcome to NCIX Tech Tips. Today we'll be going under the hood of an NVIDIA SLI 2.0 gaming system. So you're probably asking yourself, what is SLI 2.0? Up till now, no one's heard of SLI 2.0. SLI 2.0 is not a hardware change. It's not even going to cost you anything. If you already have NVIDIA SLI compatible hardware, such as a 6800 to 8800 series card, and an N4 score to N4 6 series motherboard, you are ready for SLI 2.0. It uses Windows Vista, new drivers, and it offers better performance scaling than the old SLI. It also offers DirectX 10 SLI. Now in terms of the hardware requirements for SLI 2.0, we have chosen a pair of EVGA SLI 2.0 ready, DirectX 10 ready, 8800 GTS superclocked cards. We'll be installing them on an EVGA 680i motherboard, along with an Intel Core 2 Quad CPU, and two gigs of Corsair Dominator memory. Now in order to run this kind of powerful hardware, you need stable power, and for that, we've chosen the Corsair HX620 watt power supply. Off camera, we installed our Intel Quad Core CPU, along with the heatsink, and we also installed our Corsair Dominator memory. You can see above the memory, we've installed the Dominator Airflow Tri-Fan module, which provides lots of cool air for the high frequencies at which the Corsair Dominator runs. And now, it's time for the fun part. We've got our two 8800 GTS video cards, so we'll do the one. This is what you'd see in a standard gaming system. You got your CPU, you got your RAM, you got your video card, but for SLI 2.0, we're going to be needing another one of these bad boys. So we'll be installing that in the second black PCI Express 16X slot. Now once you've got the cards in, you're not quite done. A lot of the magic happens in this little bridge, called an SLI bridge, and that helps communicate between the two cards. So we'll be installing that on the fingers at the top of the cards, just like that. Now while we were off camera, we usually do things that uh, we don't show, and as you can see, since we were last on camera, I've lost my head. Um, oh, there it is. Okay, much better. So now we're going to be doing the power connectors for our SLI 2.0 rig. First thing, motherboard power. Big old connector goes right about there. Next thing is the 8 pin power connector that will also go to the motherboard. Ooh, there it goes. It will go on the motherboard right about there. Now, the most important thing is going to be the video card power here. So now we're ready to do the power for the video cards. You can see that the modular interface on the Corsair power supply allows you to connect only the connectors that you need for your system. Well, we need two video cards, so we will be plugging in both PCI Express connectors here. Those are going to go down into the back of the video cards right here, and they plug in exactly the same way as they do into the power supply clip orients towards the fan, and it plugs in just like that. So now we've covered most of the hardware aspects of our NVIDIA SLI 2.0 ready system, but what we haven't really talked about is how to fully enjoy it. You're not going to do a system like this justice with a 17-inch CRT monitor. You're not going to get the benefit. So we recommend something like a 24-inch widescreen LCD panel, such as the BenQ one that we've got right here. When you're using that panel, I always recommend using a DVI interface. Normally, it's best to plug the DVI into the top card. Technically, it doesn't matter, but I have found better compatibility that way. You can use either slot as long as you're using the card that is closer to the CPU socket. So we'll just plug that in, just like that, and there we go. Another thing that we haven't really touched on is how to best take control of the system. We recommend something like a Logitech gaming peripheral such as the G5 mouse which goes very nicely with a Logitech G15 keyboard. Now, again, another thing we really haven't looked at much is how are you going to find software that's going to support SLI 2.0, DirectX 10, and all the latest features? Well, we recommend Microsoft Windows Vista Ultimate, which is what we'll be using on this system. Thank you for watching NCIX Tech Tips. My name's Linus.